Welcome to the final video in our series, where we walk you through everything you need to do on release day and beyond. If you followed our previous video, you should have had an awesome time on release day and be looking to expand your reach even further. Today we're going to show you how to follow up the momentum you build up about your new music. Because as much as it is about releasing music, you also need to grow your brand and network. So you've dropped your new release on streaming platforms and your music is out in the world. Next, you should aim to send out two marketing assets in the week following release day and two the week after. That could be posting images from a new photo shoot or a video showing how you made the track. And you can make short videos on TikTok featuring your track to boost its reach. If you've uploaded your tracks through us, you might already have your music available on these platforms. And how about making a Spotify Canvas video for your song? You can create one through your Spotify artist account, so there's a snazzy moving image to capture people's attention on Spotify. As the week's gone, keep an eye on which playlist your songs has been added to across streaming platforms. Always be on the lookout for playlists your song would be a good fit for, and contact the creators directly. The fact that your track is already featured might make their decision easier. Don't send out a generic email though. Follow our guide to pitching to playlist creators in the link below. Once your song is on a playlist, send the creator a thank you on socials or privately and start to build relationships in the music industry. You can also make your own playlist based around your song. You can also create playlists of artists who have inspired you or of songs in a similar genre. The more ideas you have like this, the more you have to post on social media too. So what could you post on social media to keep your pushing conversation around your song? If you threw a party on release day, post out any content like videos and images over the next week. Plan a fresh merchandise drop a week or so after release day. You could also perform a different version of your track to keep the song fresh, a stripped back acoustic version for example. On platforms like TikTok you could encourage other artists to do it with your performance or leave lines blank for them to sing along. You want to turn the listeners who has just discovered your music into fans by giving them some exclusive information about you and some behind the scenes facts about your release. You could introduce some people who contributed to the track or if you work alone, share some insights to the key parts of your track. Always listen to feedback from listeners. That means responding to people directly, not only liking and replying to comments, but showing off positive reviews of your songs by screenshotting them to your Instagram story and tagging the fan. They love the personal acknowledgement. The initial weeks after a release aren't the only chance for your music to find success. Keep an eye on your statistics, and if you see a spike in engagement, that's when you know to start promoting again. And set up a Google Alert for the release, so you'll be emailed any mentions of your music. Now that people have had a chance to stream your release, it's time to introduce yourself and let them properly meet the artists behind the music. Be sure to thank them for their support too. If you play your music live, schedule some shows. Even if you don't think you'll pull a big crowd, a gig will provide useful promotional material for your social media, giving you video clips and images to fill up your profile. But what if you're a bedroom producer or a DJ or simply haven't played any shows yet? If live events aren't your thing, you could live stream yourself performing on social media instead. Maybe play a mix from your living room or go live and have a chat simply to show your face to your fans. Before deciding where to go live, check your stats and find the social media platform you're most popular on. You could, for example, choose to live stream on Instagram because that's where you see the most engagement. Just like at a live show, if there aren't many viewers, that's okay. You can put the content on your profile afterwards and it won't be time wasted. Follow at least some of our advice and you'll be giving your music a much better shot at being successful for longer. The main thing to bear in mind is to keep promoting your song. Learn as you go, taking note of what worked and what didn't when you were marketing your release. When you start thinking about your next single or album, don't forget to keep reminding your fans that your older songs still exist. We've got you covered at every stage of releasing your music. If you haven't already, check out our two videos that show you what you need to do in the run-up to release day and on the release day itself. Subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos and hit the notification bell to be told when we publish more. And if you found this helpful, give it a like and share it with your friends to help with their upcoming releases. And if you have a success story or want to hear it, so let us know in the comments. 